Well, you can make an argument that the Oregon Ducks might be the best team in the Pac-12 Conference, sitting 13th in the AP Top 25. They are hosting a Cal Bear squad coming off of a loss. They are the walking wounded right now. Evan Weaver wasn't thrilled with his team's defensive performance. We know Chase Garbers is not healthy enough to play in this game. Is this going to be all Ducks all the time? Well, I can't wait to watch Evan Weaver, right? He's kind of given us great TV, great internet, great Twitter if you've been watching the last couple post-game shows. He gave another one after the loss to Arizona State saying, look, it wasn't good enough and we've got to move on and not kind of, I think he said, quote, fall off a cliff like we usually do when we lose a game and all of a sudden the season can spiral potentially negatively. So I can't wait to see how he leads this defense against Justin Herbert because Herbert has played some of his best ball when he's been healthy against Cal. Two years ago, got injured in the game, but I think he was seven of eight at the time. Last year went off against him for a couple touchdowns and special throws. And this is the first time all season, Mike, that students are in, in session. This place is going to be bonkers, so the Cal defense is going to have to play their best game. All right, from a defensive standpoint, from a Oregon perspective, three straight games they haven't allowed a touchdown. Longest streak since 1933. It has been a long time since they've been able to accomplish that. They are, should we be talking about them as one of the elite defenses, not only in the conference, but in the country? I think they got to continue to prove it, right? This game, sure. can they shut down Devon Monster? He's going to be the quarterback. He's going to make his first start for the Cal Bears. Can they shut down the running game of the Cal Bears? And can they create turnovers? And I think when you look at them, and it all starts up front for me, you could look at big number 34, Jordan Scott, right in the middle of that thing, then Troy Dye, and then Javon Holland. That trio, and we talk about it all the time, defenses are built down the middle. Those three guys on the middle of the defense are as good as you're going to find. You could argue in the entire country. So I can't wait to see how they play. They got to keep showing it, keep proving it. But coming off a of bye week, they should come out, play their freshest, most explosive ball since the Auburn game. A complete reaction to this one Saturday night. You do not want to miss it on Pac-12 Network. We got you covered on Final Score.